Welcome back to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Talk Show. Today's topic is don't ever go to bed mad. Stay up and fight. Now this is a really good quote I heard. I think it's actually from Phyllis Diller from years ago. But what she's saying is it's like we all have things that we deal with within our relationships. They're not going to be perfect. You're going to have fights. You're going to have knock down, drag out arguments about things that maybe you don't resolve right away. But the one thing you need to do is not prolong it so that it goes on for days. So you have to pick your battles in relationships. There's always going to be arguments. There's always going to be a fight where you're mad for like two weeks, but you have to deal with it. You can't bury it underneath and hold a grudge for the next 10 years of your relationship. And then bring it up later going, remember that time? You've got to deal with it and communicate about it. So. Not going to bed angry is a really good rule of thumb to have. And you've probably heard it from your parents, you've probably heard it from a lot of people that you need to sit there and communicate about situations in your relationships that are hard. But a lot of us don't do that. Because first of all, we don't want to deal with it or they're not hearing our point of view. So what's the point in arguing about it? Because it's not gonna get resolved. They think this way, I think that way. Well, yes, this does happen, but you've got to come to a bit of a compromise. Understand why each person feels the way they do. Because that is a really big thing, big thing in a relationship that you need to be able to deal with in all aspects of what goes on in daily life in a relationship. It's not just about love, love and romance. It's about your jobs. It's about how you raise your kids. It's about a lot of things. So if you start out early in your relationship fighting about things and not resolving them and letting them go on and on and going to sleep in separate rooms or mad at each other for two weeks on end, you're going to have a really big problem that's never going to be fixed. Oops. <laughs> Crazy bees out here. Anyway, I really want to draw attention to this because again, when I say pick your battles, I, I actually literally mean pick your battles because it's something that we have to you know, figure out as we go through in our learning curve of our relationship for years that if we don't fix things, they become big things. Look what happens when little things become big things. So if you're ignoring all the major aspects of those big fights, something that's maybe a household finance situation or somebody spending more money than the other person, whatever the, the case is, if you don't sit down and communicate and talk about it, it's going to be the end of your relationship. So don't think that by ignoring it and going to bed and just pretending it doesn't happen and you wake up in the morning that everything's going to be okay, People hold grudges for a long time when things don't get resolved. So anyway, I wanted to put that one out there because I think it's a really good reminder to people to you know, pay attention to some of the things in life. We all think that oh, we have a fight, we wake up the next day, it's going to be okay. Sometimes those fights don't end up being okay because it's how you handle them and how you respect each other through those arguments that will bring you to a better phase in your relationship or it could destroy your relationship. So it's really up to you individually how you handle it and up to you as a couple how you make it work. I think that sounds pretty simple, but guess what? Life isn't simple. Anyway, just a reminder to everybody, thanks again for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video below and comment. I wanna hear from you. I like it when you write and tell me what you think. Thanks everyone, bye-bye.